Time for part two of our one-on-one -on -one with Oscar De La Hoya. Prior to our interview, a gentleman was trying to get the attention of the Golden Boy. Naturally, a lot of people want to speak to Oscar, get an autograph or a signature, you know. But this wasn't an ordinary fan. This was a reunion almost 30 years in the making. Check out what De La Hoya's coach from the Olympics brought to the weigh-in at the Alamo Dome. It was actually taken in, uh, in uh, Tampa, Florida. It was the uh, World Games. This one is in the, at the uh, Barcelona Olympic, Olympic Complex. That's where we lived together there while he, you know, went through the tournament. And actually, he had already won it. So that was the last, about the last day that we were there. Come on, look at that. Oh, for real? Training for the Olympics. That's great. Wow, look at that. Little mustache right there, yeah? <laughs> oh, I know your mom is really happy, man. Well, Oscar, tell me uh, about that interaction with that man right there. Who was that? So, so he was my coach. Uh, he's from San Antonio. He was my coach in the Olympics. I used to go to Colorado Springs, the Olympic Training Center, every year. Uh, I was one of the coaches, national coaches. He actually trained me uh, a year prior to the Olympic Games. We were in Fort Huachuca. We went down to Camp Pendleton. We went down to uh, all the all the the, the, the Navy base the army bases uh, it was incredible had the privilege of uh, being there with Oscar when he wanted it's a matter of fact uh, prior to the um, last bout of the tournament the uh, medal bout he asked me to, to hold two flags one was an American flag and one was a Mexican flag little ones you know so I says coach give him to me if I win so sure enough, when he wanted, I gave him to him, and he just went around the, the ring showing him off. It was a very proud moment for Mexican-Americans and a very proud moment for, for me as a military man uh, representing the United States was a, a privilege that I will never forget. I just saw him for the first time in years. What a, what a great surprise. And you had a mustache, right? I had a mustache. I had, I had to sport the mustache. So, uh, you know. Luckily, when I fought for the Olympic gold medal, I was in my, in my uh, dormitories mm -hmm. uh, uh, prior to going to the, uh, the, 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 uh, the arena mm -hmm. in Barcelona. And so I was shaving, trying to get it straight. <laughs> and one of my buddies kind of like bucked me uh, on my shoulder and I, and I shaved half of it. So then I shaved everything. And, uh, you know, so it was the best thing that could ever happen. <laughs> That's awesome.